The news summary, good evening. President Wilfer Ramkalawan obtained a first-hand view of the West Coast Road Improvement Project this morning. He was accompanied by a technician team from several agencies. The stretch of road of about two kilometers is funded by a grant by Abu Dhabi through ongoing infrastructure support to Seychelles. The road is expected to stretch from Oslamosh Junction up to Bilaza Police Station. Through the discussions held on site, the delegation also explored the possibility of extending the project up to the Bilaza Primary School and the district's church in order to maximize the benefits to the community. Following the site visit, the delegation met at Anslamosh to further discuss and agree on key decisions for the way forward. The president has given instruction to all relevant partner agencies present to engage and ensure the project is executed at the soonest. The Minister for Foreign Affairs and Tourism, Sylvester Radigond, accompanied by a delegation, have visited several travel agencies. Minister Radigond visited these agencies to learn more about their aspirations, concerns and suggestions they want to make to improve the industry. The minister began his visit at a Pew Escape travel agency located in the Premier Building at Victoria. Minister Radigond was accompanied on his visit by uh, Principal Secretary for Tourism, Shirin Francis. The owner of uh, Ocean Blue Travel Agency, Zain Ibrahim, says he is happy with the minister's uh, visit. Ocean Blue Travel is a fairly new uh, tour operator. We opened in January 2020. We appreciate the visit by the minister, the PS, and uh, his delegation. We discussed a few limitations um, that we are going through, but we just hope and pray for the world uh, to get better so that more tourists can visit our beautiful islands of Seychelles. Some 20 women entrepreneurs in small and medium businesses have benefited from a three-day workshop where they learned about how to tap into the African market. These women are producing fruits, vegetables, juice and jewelry, amongst other projects, all from local materials and ingredients. This workshop is a its first uh, or it's is the first of its kind by the Seychelles chapter of Comesa Federation of Women in Business in partnership with the citizen engagement uh, platform Seychelles and the enterprise Seychelles Agency. The aim of this first training and others that will follow is to encourage the entrepreneurs to add more value to their products so that they can be on the proper standard for exportation. The aim was to train women to be competitive in business, that means uh, scale up the business, learn more, more how to trade, um, equip with skills like um, financial skills, you know, marketing skills, you know, and uh, so that they're able to, to trade, you know. So understanding how the, the African market wo works and the continental market works and the, free, the, the, the African Free Trade Agreement, the FCFCA, how it works and what is it in there for them. So this is what this is a start of the beginning of a series of training to equip our women at entrepreneurs to aim higher. Social media is not a place that hands out loan just like that, and people should also be careful when getting into romantic relationships on social media. This is the message from the chairman of the Bankers Association of Seychelles, Mr. Philip Moustache. He was reacting once again to the numerous incidents whereby people have been scammed financially on social media. He is pleading people to exercise caution. Social media is not licensed to give out loans in Seychelles. Also, there is the perception that whatever you see on social media is the gospel truth. You get a friend request from a beautiful girl, a good, a handsome guy, doesn't mean that person exists. That person could be grooming you to defraud you. So whatever you do, please be cautious. There are so many scams, and the most worrying one is the mule account scam, whereby we found two techniques that's been used. Some local people are allowing their accounts to be utilized, and they've sent their ATM cards and PIN overseas, 
And the other side is that uh, foreigners working here are allowing their accounts to be used also. So you have two sides of a coin. And people, whatever request you get on social media, be it on WhatsApp or any form of elect electronic platform that uh, you have been offered something which is too good to be true, please exercise caution. A group of uh, volunteers today cleaned uh, the Grand Tasmai beach in order to remove uh, various rubbish that had accumulated uh, over time. Most of the 20 volunteers were residents of uh, Grand Tasmai and wanted to give their time to help keep the beach area clean. The activity was originally planned for June to coincide with the World Environment Day, but in view of the surge of uh, COVID-19 cases around that time, they had to postpone the cleanup. It is uh, the MNE for Grand Asmae with uh, William who initiated the activity. The volunteers also helped to clean and paint the Grand Asmae Primary School. And that's it uh, for the news summary. Thank you for watching.